Hey, Mark Oldman coming at you from New York City. It's a Monday night. And what does one do on a Monday night to shake the, the case of the Mondays, as they said, in office space? I'll tell you what you do. You go to Tukumbi Taco Bar, a new taco bar here in Nolita. They have the most amazing tacos here. Look at these little authentic marvels, these little discs of pleasure. And they also have a, a VW microbus, a VW van. They serve tacos out of And the food is spicy and it's festive and it's delicious. People ask me, I hear so many times, Mark, what's the best wine in spicy food? And I say, you know, there's no one great one type of spicy food, but try to drink something that's low in alcohol, um, because alcohol tends to intensify the heat of spicy food. Try to drink something not too expensive, because something expensive and finely nuanced, you're not going to really taste with spicy food, with the kind of stark and, and loud quality of, of spicy food. And then something with bubbles, ideally. Um, and I'll add a fourth factor, maybe a rosé, something that's pink. So, one wine type that incorporates all of these spicy, food-friendly factors is sparkling kava. This is the Freshenet, and that's how it's actually pronounced, Freshenet. It's spelled with an X, and people don't know how to pronounce it. But you pour a little bit of this, you see the frothiness here. Check this out. Mm. That, the spiciness of the taco and the clean strawberry inflected quality of the kava are just the most amazing match. So, when you go for your spicy food, low in alcohol, bubbly, fruit forward, and if possible, pink. I'm Mark Oldman coming at you from Tukumbi.